Minaj Dekal is going to be presenting this Madam tutorial explaining how to create a pendulum updater or a pendulum animation in Madam. Now he's got some pretty cool math explainers on his channel so if you like this animation and you like the sort of stuff that he does, uh, make sure you go and check it out. Anyway, let's get to the explanation. Right. I'm going to give you a word that I particularly use to make a pendulum, to make a pendulum, that you can make a pendulum as well. Firstly, what you need to do is define some constants in Manim. Firstly, you need to define the constant theta max, which is the maximum amount of angle that you want the pendulum to swing in one particular direction. Remember that you can keep any angle, any particular angle that you prefer, except that it must be converted into radians uh, for purposes of calculation that we'll do later on. You also need to define the length of the pendulum. You also need to define the acceleration due to gravity for the pendulum. You also need to define angular frequency of the pendulum, which is in fact square root of z by l that you'll have already defined in earlier lines. You'll also calculate the time period of the pendulum, which is 2 pi divided by the angular frequency of the pendulum. The most important thing to define, however, is the time for the pendulum, which is a value tracker, which stores the value of time that will be used, used later on in calculations as well. You, you need to define something called shift required because this is necessary to shift the pendulum to any desired position after we initially design the program to run as if the pendulum were at the center of the screen, right? So this is position of X that you desire the pendulum to move to. And this is the position of Y that you, de that you want and want the pendulum to move uh, in the particular condition. Now you need to firstly define theta, which will not be seen in the screen because this is just the calculation. This is the background calculation. So theta is a decimal number, a mob set that used to store the value of uh, the particular angle that the pendulum has moved to. For example, uh, its value will be set to theta max times sine omega t, right? I think you remember from your high school that theta moves in this particular fashion of sinusoidal wave, right? So the particular value of theta can be represented by this formula theta max times sine omega t. Remember that time is a value tracker. So when the value of time changes, the value of theta changes as well. Now I need to add theta, but I don't want it to be shown in the screen. That's why I move it uh, 10 into right, which is out of the screen. I think that's pretty clear as well. Now we need to do some geometrical callings. For example, I want to make the string first. Now I define uh, a function called get line that takes in the values x and y, right? And I will draw the line with starting at origin and of course shifted with shift required. That, that, that's of course the thing that you do at the end of the program. I also end it at x into right plus y into p. So what happens is, is we pass the values to this particular function. We pass the values which represent the position the pendulum is in now, right now, right? X and Y are the position of the pendulum at the particular instant that we're talking about, right? And shift is what we do always for all the positions that you do throughout this program. You also need some something called line vertical, which you can see in the screen below. Right? It is a dashed line that starts from the, it starts at the same point line here starts. That's why you can keep line here dot get start and it ends three blocks down. That's why uh, the end coordinates uh, as such. Now I return line here from here. I won't return line vertical. Instead, I do global line vertical so that I can pass this outside of the function. Now why don't I pass line vertical is, it can be a major question to many of folks out there. So firstly, uh, it's because I won't, something that is returned from this particular function to be drawn time and again and can and so it should be something that can be updated now line vertical doesn't need to be updated because it's static uh, it's not going to change its position is going to be the same overall uh, in, uh overall in the video right so i don't need to do anything i don't i don't need to return line vertical in this particular case but then I need to return, return line here because this represents a string whose position is changing every instance. So that's why I define a variable called line, which is always redraw and which has this, which calls the particular function that I just defined and passes the X value and Y value for the pendulum. Now I add the line. I also add the line vertical. Remember that line is getting updated every second. 
but the line vertical is constant. I also need to define arc. As you can see below, there's an arc. Now, how do you make that arc? Now, you need to understand that this arc is also, this function is also going to be kept inside the lambda function after I define always redraw. Because I also want this arc to be updated every second, right? That's what I, I do here afterwards. After I make this particular function, I'm going to call always redraw function uh, and I'm going to pass this theta that get value in inside it. And that will be represented as theta here. Now, if theta is equals to zero, for example, sometimes when the line vertical and the string are overlapping each other, they have no angle between them. That's why. And in that particular case, this return function returns an error because it cannot represent a mobject to be always redrawn, right? In that particular case, I would want to return a vectorized point, which will be moved to 10 into right, which is basically out of the screen. But if everything works perfectly, and I will also represent angles in the fashion that I want them to. For example, sometimes I would want the angle to be represented in the clockwise direction, but in other times, I would want it to be represented in the anti-clockwise direction. You can see how an arc can be made by using this particular function, right? And I add this angle. As I add this angle, the arc will be shown. I'll also have an something called arc text, which will also be updated, right? This is this will be updated so that it will be always placed next to angle downwards. So when the angle moves, the arc that is represented by the variable angle moves, the arc text moves as well. Now I've added arc text into the screen. You can see how the arc text moves along with angle as well. Now I, what I need to do, and this is last but not the least, uh, this is the bar for the pendulum. That's why I define a get ball function, which will have dot and which will be represented by a dot. Now I'll scale it by L, which is the length of the pendulum. So uh, the larger the length of the string of the pendulum, the larger the dot is. I think that makes some sense. I'll move it to this particular position, which I'll get from the parameters that I've defined for this function. I'll, I'll return the dot. Now I'll keep this, this function inside uh, always redraw function. That's why is the value of theta is changed, updated every second, because time changes every second. The ball gets into a new position as well, because I've passed position as a parameters for this particular function, right? And then I add ball, which means that there is the bob, as you can see in the screen below again, there's a ball that has been added and the ball is changing its position with change in time. Because with change in time, the theta changes as well, right? At the end, I do a time.animate and set its value to a random number. Uh, you can do anything. This is the time period that I used. But you do you could set its value to any number and the program will draw smoothly and you'd get a pendulum depending upon the value that you that you've set here and the run time that you've assigned to it. Isn't the pendulum that's at the bottom of the screen beautiful? I think it's really beautiful, the work of math.